Wu Arabic al -wu -w -u is the Islamic procedure for cleansing parts of the body, a type of ritual purification, or ablution. Wudu involves washing the hands, mouth, nostrils, arms, head and feet with water and is an important part of ritual purity in Islam. What activities require wu, what rituals constitute it and what breaks or invalidates it are governed by FIQH Islamic jurisprudence and specifically its rules concerning hygiene. Wu in other languages is Persian, or Abdast or Das Namaz Urdu, Allah LC, Was IPA, Wazu, Turkish, Abidist, Albanian, Abidist, Bengali, Ayu Oju, Silheti, Ozu, Indonesian, Wudu, Chechen, Lamaz Akar Lamaz Ecar, Bosnian, Abidist, Kurdish, Destave, Somali, Wiso. Wu is typically done in preparation for formal prayers salat and before handling and reading the Quran. Impurifying activities that invalidate wudu include urination, defecation, flatulence, deep sleep, light bleeding and sexual intercourse. Wu is often translated as partial ablution as opposed to ghusl, full ablution, washing the whole body or tayammum, dry ablution. Replacing water with sand or dust due to its scarcity, its harmful effect on the person or some other reason. Purification of the body and clothes is called tahara. <laughs> <laughs> Basis in Quran and Hadith The Quran says for God loves those who turn to Him constantly and He loves those who keep themselves pure and clean." In regard to Muslims being required to be clean when handling and reading the Quran, the Quran says, "...which none shall touch but those who are clean." The Islamic prophet Muhammad said that, "...cleanliness is half of faith." Topic. Water requirements Topic. Permitted water types Spring, sea or river water Water of melting snow or hail Water of a big tank or pond Well water Topic. Prohibited water types Unclean or impure water Water extracted from fruit and trees Water that has changed its color, taste and smell and has become thick because something was soaked in it Small quantity of water in which something unclean has fallen, e.g. urine, blood, stool or wine or some animal had died after falling into it Water left over after drinking by haram animals e.g. pigs or predatory animals Used water of wu or ghusl according to the opinion of the Hanbali school Topic. Acts of wudu There are four fard obligatory acts. If one of these acts is omitted, it must be returned to and then the succeeding acts completed. There are other acts that are performed during wu coming from the Sunnah of Islamic Prophet Muhammad and Sunni Islamic scholars and the detailed acts of the wu can be classed into three types. Faraid according to Sunni Muslims According to Sunni Muslims, the Quranic mandate for wu comes in the sixth ayat of Surah 5. The ayat has been translated by Muhammad Musan Khan, Rashad Khalifa, Abdullah Yusuf Ali, Pikthal and Maulana Muhammad Ali as follows. Note that these scholars' translation refer to washing the feet. O oh, you who have believed, when you rise to perform prayer, wash your faces and your forearms to the elbows and wipe over your heads and wash your feet to the ankles. And if you are in a state of janaba, then purify yourselves. 
But if you are ill or on a journey or one of you comes from the place of relieving himself or you have contacted women and do not find water, then seek clean earth and wipe over your faces and hands with it. Allah does not intend to make difficulty for you, but he intends to purify you and complete his favor upon you that you may be grateful. Washing the face thrice. Washing both the arms including the elbows thrice. Performing masa of one-fourth of the head. Washing both the feet once up to and including the ankles. It's not sufficient for one to pass wet hand over the feet or shoes. Under certain conditions masa can be done over leather socks known as cuffs, narrated by Abd Allah ibn Amr. We were just passing wet hands over our feet not washing them thoroughly so he addressed us in a loud voice saying twice or thrice, save your heels from the fire. Narrated by Ubaid ibn Jarai. Dot and he used to perform ablution while wearing the shoes i.e. wash his feet and then put on the shoes. Narrated by Yahya al-Mazini. Can you show me how Allah's Apostle used to perform ablution? Dot and washed his feet up to the ankles. Narrated by Amr. Dot and then he washed his feet up to the ankles. Narrated by Humran. Dot and washed his feet up to the ankles. Narrated by Amr bin Yahya. Dot and washed his feet up to the ankles. Narrated by Abdullah bin Zaid. Dot and washed his feet up to the ankles. Topic: Faraid according to Shia Muslims. According to Shia Muslims the Quranic mandate for wu comes in the sixth ayat of Surah 5. The ayat has been translated by Muhammad Habib Shakir as follows. Note this scholar's translation refers to wiping the feet. O ye who believe, when ye prepare for prayer, wash your faces, and your hands and arms to the elbows, rub your heads with water, and your feet to the ankles. If ye are in a state of ceremonial impurity, bathe your whole body. But if ye are ill, or on a journey, or one of you cometh from offices of nature, or ye have been in contact with women, and ye find no water, then take for yourselves clean sand or earth, and rub there with your faces and hands. Allah doth not wish to place you in a difficulty, but to make you clean, and to complete his favor to you, that ye may be grateful. Washing the face once or twice with your right hand. Washing both the arms including the elbows once or twice left hand washed the right arm and then right hand washes the left arm. Wiping one-fourth of the head with the water left on your right hand. Wiping both the feet once up to and including the ankles once with the water remaining on both hands right hand, right foot, left hand, left foot. Topic. Mustahabat recommended acts. A handful of mustahab recommended acts that are considered to make the wu better. If one of these acts is omitted, the wu is still considered valid. Reciting the shahada after the ablution. During wu one should not engage in worldly talk. Choosing a clean place for ablution. Not wasting water in ablution. Starting from the right side and then the left. Topic. Contentions Muslims who are unable to perform the prevailing form of ablution, due to skin disease, a disability or lack of clean water, etc. are recommended to perform tayammum, sometimes called dry ablution, using sand or dust instead of water. Such an alternative form of ritual purity may also be accepted in cases where one fears the acquisition of hypothermia in cold weather. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Performance. Topic: Sunnism. Sunni Muslims perform the following. Start by making niyyah intention to perform wu and cleanse the self of impurities. Recite Bismillah. Wash the right hand up to the wrist and between the fingers three times, then similarly for the left hand. Next, rinse the mouth and spit out the water three times and rub the teeth with a miswak. If a miswak is not available then one should use the finger. Some water should be taken in the right hand and sniffed into the nostrils thrice and then blown out. The left hand should be used for cleaning the nose. Wash the face from the hairline on the forehead to where facial hair begins and ear to ear. This is to be performed three times. Wash the entire right arm, including the hand, up to and including the elbow three times, then the left arm three times. Pass fingers of one hand between the fingers of the other hand. If wearing a ring it should be moved freely to allow water to pass under it. Then perform masa. Wet hands should be passed all over the head, then the first finger of the right and left hand should be moved in the right and left ears respectively and in the same operation thumbs should be passed around the ears, then pass the backs of the hands over the hind part of the neck only. Hands should not be passed around the foreneck as it is prohibited. This is only done once. One may not make masa over a Muslim head cap. Starting with the right foot, wash both feet from the toes up to and including the ankles thrice. The little finger of the left hand should be passed between the toes of both the feet beginning from the little toe of the right foot and ending with the little toe of the left foot. Recite the Shahada. Offer two raka prayer. Make sure all parts of body to be washed for wudu should completely be wet before the other is washed until the wudu is completed. Topic: <inaudible> Invalidation. Theoretically, one can perform one wu for salat and this wu would be considered valid for the rest of the day. However, traditionally Muslims believe that certain acts invalidate the wu often referred to as breaking wu and losing wu, and these can be stated generically thus, although the Quran does not explain most of these. <laughs> According to Sunni Muslims Defecation or urination Odorous or audible emissions of flatulence, emission of semen, gusle as required, slow wave sleep while reclining, vomiting, loss of senses, fainting, sexual contact with another person, gusle as required, touching the private parts with the bare hands, not according to Hanafi Madhab blood or pus leaving the body so that it leaves the point of exit however if the blood or pus exits from the private parts then any amount breaks wu. Note that bleeding except from private parts does not invalidate wu according to Shafi'i Madhab. <laughs> according to Shia Muslims In Shia theology, wudu is invalidated when waste or matter exits the lower most extremities of the body, the anus and urethra, as either feces, urine, semen or gas. For wudu to be invalid through flatulence, one must actually hear or smell the passing, otherwise it is not considered void. In addition, wudu is considered void when someone falls into a deep sleep in which they have no alert consciousness. Belching and vomiting do no invalidate wudu, however it is strongly recommended that the individual rinses his or her mouth following the latter. Bleeding is not considered to invalidate wudu either, as Jafar al-Sadiq made it clear in hadith that a bad wound is not caused to repeat wudu. 
This concept further extends to parasites that may exit the body through the two extremities. Cutting one's hair or nails does not invalidate wudu but he or she should wipe the area with water. Tayammum Tayammum is a dry ablution, using clean soil or dust, to be performed when water is not readily available to perform ablution or when one is defiled on janaba and could not perform ghusl, and is authorized under specific circumstances. Wu description in Hadith Wu in Hadith Abu Huraira, in reference to the Day of Resurrection, reported that Muhammad, when asked if he would be able to recognize Muslims, said, Yes, you would have a mark which other people will not have. You would come to me with a white blaze on your foreheads and white marks on your feet because of the traces of ablution. Abu Huraira said, I have heard Prophet may peace be upon him say, In a believer adornment would reach the places where ablution reaches. Uthman ibn Affan stated that Muhammad, said, He who performed ablution well, his sins would come out from his body, even coming out from under his nails. Umar ibn al-Khattab reported that Muhammad said, No one among you does wu and does wu thoroughly, or adequately, and then testifies, There is no God but Allah alone with no partner and I testify that Muhammad is Allah's messenger, without the eight doors of the garden being opened to him so that he can enter by whichever of them he wishes. Topic. Hadiths on performing wudu from large bodies of water It is mentioned in numerous hadiths by Jafar al-Sadiq that it is permissible to make wudu with water that is not overwhelmed with the stench of dead animal. If there is a dead animal, it is recommended to take wudu from the opposite side of the location of the animal. He also said it is permissible to take wudu from the ponds between Mecca and Medina in which people perform ghusl, dogs and beasts drink, and animals die so long as the water level is at least up to the knees. <laughs> Hadiths on performing wudu from a well It has been narrated by Ali al rida that if a drop of urine, blood or animal feces falls into a well, one must remove about ten buckets from it before performing wudu. If the feces has disintegrated into the water, forty to fifty buckets must be removed. Jafar al-Sadiq has also mentioned that if an animal falls into the well, and has not disintegrated in it, remove five to seven buckets of water from it or until the smell or taste of the water changes. However, if the animal is bleeding or has an open wound, one must draw out thirty to forty buckets before it becomes purified for wudu. If a camel dies in the well or wine is poured into the well, all the water must be drained. See also Sabil or Sabal, public water fountain in Islamic countries Shatarvan, a typical Ottoman fountain usually built in the yard or at the entrance of religious buildings mosques, kankas, madrasas and caravanserais Muslim hygienical jurisprudence Ritual purification Ghusl Chozuya Wajib Mustahab <laughs>